So one of the most fun things about being part of watching tracks being made into a, a feature film um, is watching how they took I images and, and uh, uh, scenes from the original journey that Ro Robin was on and recreate them uh, in a way that look exactly the same. If you look at this picture that's about to appear on the left here, this is Mia walking into Dr. River and Robin behind me there was uh, Robin walking into Dr. River. Really amazing how they uh, made it feel completely authentic. And here's the full picture. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is uh, Adam sitting next to the fire at night uh, with Mia. And um, it was really recreated from one of the photographs which, that I shot that ran in National Geographic originally. If you look at this picture, I'm gonna move the picture now, and you can do this yourselves uh, just by reaching in you know, on your iPad um, and moving it, but you can see Mia there on the right, and you see Robin on the left here, and you can enlarge it yourself and sort of look close up. But the way that they've created the same feeling of light on both of these images is really wonderful. And it's, it's, a, it's a really touching mo moment in the movie where, where uh, Adam Rick is trying to ask Mia, Robin, <laughs> about her background, and she's not very forthcoming. One of the things that Robin really wanted to do during this camel trip was to spend time with Aborigines and learn about them and from them. And uh, Mr. Eddie, uh, an elder, an Aboriginal elder, traveled with her for about six weeks during the trip, took her to places that, that women were not allowed to go according to uh, Aboriginal tradition. And the gentleman, Roly, who plays Mr. Eddie in the movie, is an absolute delight. He speaks in Aboriginal dialect uh, throughout the movie. They never translate what he's saying. And again, if you can see how they've recreated this sort of affection between Robin and Mr. Eddie in the movie, exactly the way it was in the movie, in the, in the original trip. So Robin walked about 20 miles a day during the trip, and she would often walk for weeks without seeing another human being. This is another one of the kind of the, the emotions that they wanted to capture in the movie when Mia was playing Robin. So I love the scene of just seeing, this is the original picture from Robin's original trip, and those are the Olgas off in the background. And now I'll show you a picture where they created that same sense of solitary uh, confinement out in, the, out in the desert alone. And here's a scene from the movie shot by the, a wonderful set photographer named Matt Netheim, where, uh, he, again, he really created that sense of what it was like to be out there. It's really hard to tell which of the photographs are mine and which ones are, are, uh, are, are Matt's. And this is a picture of Mia uh, during the trip, again, all by herself out in the outback. I'd really appreciate your help in backing this Kickstarter campaign. I want to create a beautiful coffee table book which combines pictures from Robin's original camel trip with extraordinary images from the movie. Please back the campaign and please click on the button on your left.